What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight. All right, we're coming back to Bruce Springsteen. Yes, indeed. Bruce Springsteen fans, Balin, you, come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from JFK, and this is actually one of JFK's three prioritized requests from the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, JFK. Hope you enjoy the show, man. JFK wanted to see me react to this. It is Bruce Springsteen with a song called Take Them As They Come. Now, have I heard this song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by La Cabezona Diep 7. <laughs> what? And the video has 60,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bruce Springsteen, take, uh, uh yeah, uh, supposed to be take, um, apostrophe E-M. Uh, yeah, grammar. Anyway, take them as they come. There it is. <laughs> it just bugs me, man. It, uh, anyway. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Thanks. All right. There's a guy with a with a sign. There, there it is. Hold on. Are we doing a sign request? Guy's been following me around. You'll see in a minute. Where are you from, buddy? Where, where are you from? Spain. That figures. All right. That figures. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy that's been following me around, coming to every show. Where are you from? Spain. Yeah, that figures. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but for some reason, I find it funny. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's let's keep going here. This guy's been wanting to hear this obscure song. Paid his money in Seville. He didn't hear it there. He paid some more money in Barcelona. I was said, fuck you there. <laughs> and we went to Donostia. No, didn't get played. Didn't get played. Came all the way to Madrid. That's a big investment now, my friend. Man, is it ever. Nope, no song. No song. Paris, no fucking good. Wow. Got to see the Eiffel Tower, though. Big deal. Uh, but London, <laughs> tonight, my friend, this is your lucky night. Wow. You have spent a shitload of euros. Yeah, he did. What was that, six shows? Was that six shows he paid to go and see? Dang! 
Whoo! Man alive. Good. Listen. <laughs> that, Bruce ain't kidding. That was an investment. Um, very cool of Bruce to see that sign and recognize it. Um, you know, it, uh, he loved how every single city prior to the London show was crossed off. Yeah, that was that was a nice touch. I think that was a very nice touch on on the guy's uh, part to cross it off. Make make the statement even bigger. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. But here we are now in London, and we're gonna get it. All right. You know what? I guess it. I guess it all comes down to your point of view. You know, an investment definitely for sure. Did it pay off? I guess it's gonna depend to him. I'm sure to him, it's gonna pay off. Absolutely. Um, he's gonna get his song finally. So good on him. Persistence pays off, I guess. Let's see what it's all about. You're gonna hear this damn thing. Yeah, he is. Coming to all those shows, man, you better play it for him. What? Where is it? Up, up the side? All right. Now, the rest of you folks may not give a, give a fuck about this either way. <laughs> it's completely obscure. It was a song I wrote for the river. Well, I needed some rock song. All right. It's your song, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? You count my right in with it. Go. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom. All right. Boom. Like that. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's start a dream. We won't run. So funny, I paused right here on his face. <laughs> I'm, I'm the guy who requested this. Um, I've always been very skeptical 
about the whole sign request thing. Because, look, when you're in the industry and you've worked with bands who, I don't want to say use underhanded tactics. I don't, I don't, I mean, it is, I guess, but I, I don't want to, okay, I'm not going to name the bands, but I have worked with bands who use plants. You know, they do. They have people in the crowd who are specifically there for a purpose of like a sign request, you know? Oh, look at this person holding this sign. What song is that? You know, it, it, the, meanwhile, we have the song prepared. It's in the set list. You know, it's, it's in our set list. It's right there. And it was, it was planned. That individual was going to stand in the crowd at that point with the sign. And, you know, we're going to, well, well, you know what? We're just going to, we're going to play that song. Why not? We haven't, we haven't rehearsed it, but, you know, we're, we're going to play it. You know, I, I've been involved with a number of bands who have done stuff like that. It's underhanded, in my opinion. It, it's it's fake. And I don't like doing it, man. I don't. If, if you're going to do something like that, it should be genuine for two reasons. One, integrity. Most important to me is the integrity aspect of it. Two, if you're going to do it, don't pretend like you've got the talent and the ability just to whip a song out, especially when you have it prepared. You know, that. I mean, at, at that point, it's not it's not spontaneous. It, it's it's been it's been planned, and the, and people ask me all the time when I when I make comments like that. I wonder if that's a plan. And people go, "Why would you think that?" This is why. This is the reason why is because I've worked with bands, a number of bands, not just one or two. I don't even know how many. I've lost count. Uh, I, I'll tell you, it's been over a dozen. I can tell you that right now. It's over twelve, probably over at probably more than 20, who have done stuff like that, who have had plants, or they'll plant a person in the crowd to come up on stage. You know, it, it's planned. It's planned. And you can tell when the person coming up on stage has been planned because they will, instead of security stopping them, security helps them up. That's the biggest giveaway. So I'm jaded. Yes, I'm jaded. Absolutely. The industry has made me jaded. Because I see it, I have been a part of it so many times. And the reason I'm going off on this little rant is I've always been very skeptical of Bruce Springsteen having plants. Until I went and saw them live myself. And I saw the show. I saw it. Well, it wasn't really a sign. It was a bed sheet. <laughs> I think it was a bed sheet. Or a tarp or something. It was big and spray painted. And Bruce took it and did the did the song. And even even then, I was still like, was this plan? Until the individual at that show, he was at that show, contacted me. He actually said, you know, my name is blank. I was sitting in blank section. That was my sign. He even, I, I believe he even sent me a picture of the sign that he had made in his house. And uh, he assured me that it was not a plan. He, he hoped, he really hoped that Bruce would take it. And when Bruce did, it made his night. So that right there showed me, now, could this guy, you know, be, you know, trying to defuse me, you know, try, try to get me off the trail and trying to, Stop me from investigating and, you know, throw me off the track. I mean, maybe, but, I mean, what would be in it for him to do that? So, I, I'm going to take the guy at his word. And by doing so, really kind of opens up the floodgates for all the other sign requests. Now I'm now I'm kind of of the opinion of, when it comes, at least when it comes to Bruce Springsteen. I don't know about every other band, but when it comes to Bruce Springsteen, I, I believe that these, these are legit. And if that is the case, kudos... To, the, to Bruce for, like in this case, he even said it himself, this is an obscure song. This is a song that I just wrote and put on an album that needed rock songs, so he doesn't even remember it all that well, apparently, but he, wrong, because he clearly does, because, I mean, I don't know, I don't know the song, but it sounds like he's singing it right. Um, so there's that. And then kudos to the E Street Band for, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure when he saw the, I, I, I saw Stevie in the bass player turn around, 
and start talking like whatever and i'm sure they were going over the changes with everybody but you know be able to take a song that is an obscure song they haven't rehearsed they haven't prepared and to pull out an obscure song like that and just whip it out and play it on the spot man talent talent absolutely um being able to pick out a song on the fly and just play it that's not easy folks talk about pressure in a live situation where you're playing in front of tens of thousands of people you better be able to execute you better be able to play it and play it correctly and, and pull it off you know in a live setting you don't get any second takes in a live setting you get one shot that's it that's it so kudos to the e street band for being able to pull it out and pull it off so good for them man good for everybody across the board um and of course congrats to this guy uh as they always say persistence pays off and you can see the look of joy in his face man when he when they started playing the song he was elated he still is elated so that's pretty awesome um I know I've talked a lot. I'm sorry. Let's uh, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. He's just kind of directing everybody right now. I love that. This is why you're gonna be in a band like this. You gotta have your eyes on everybody. Especially in a situation like this, you all better be communicating, and they clearly are. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, it... Mm, not really a lot to talk about. I've already talked about everything I wanted to discuss. I, I, I've already done it, so... Uh, I guess we'll just hit a couple bullet points and we'll make this a short review, I guess. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Bruce Springsteen with Take Them As They Come. This was a request from JFK. And this was actually one of JFK's three prioritized requests for the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, JFK. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Yeah, there really isn't a lot to talk about. I, I talked at length during the course of the reaction about pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. So there's not going to be a whole lot left for me to talk about here in the review. I'm pretty much going to just cover everything with some bullet points and it, it's going to be a short review, guys. I'm sorry. I just, I don't see the reason to beat a dead horse. So anyway, uh, let's start off with the score here on a scale of one to 10. I'm, I'm, you know what? I, yeah, hold on change yeah that's it okay that looks better huh believe it or not i'm gonna give that an 8.1 yep 
8.1, I feel good about that score. I feel better about that score than I did before. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. First things first, in 8.1, what does that mean? Well, in 8.1 will translate to a great scale rating, so I, I think this was a great performance and a great song. It was get four out of five stars and an A minus letter grade. So there you go, an 8.1, great scale rating, four to five stars and an A minus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> That's an interesting story. Um, So glad you asked. Okay, look. The song on its own, it's a really good song, okay? I, I, The song on its own, I would get somewhere in the mm, 7.3, 7.4 range, somewhere in there. I think it's a really good song. It's, it, it's got a nice feel, it's got nice energy, it's got a nice drive, the chordal progression sounds good, it's pleasing to the ear. Um, a lot of open opportunity, if, if you wanted to take this song and open it up, for solos, you could. It, it, it's a very easy uh, chordal progression to do that with. Uh, very repeatable. Uh, and, and you could actually open this song up. You, you could make the song twice as long as you, if you wanted to, and it would be just fine. Um, so why am I giving this an 8.1? Well, this is where things get interesting. In the past, like I said during the reaction, I've been very skeptical about the whole sign request thing, and I've and folks, I'll be the first to admit it, I'm jaded. When it comes to the music industry, I'm very jaded. I've, I've been in this industry for a long, long time. I've been in this industry for two thirds of my life. And I, I've, I've seen things and I've been a part of things that I'm not necessarily proud of, um, but I, at the same time, I had absolutely no say in the issue. Listen, when you're a hired gun and you are paid to play and you are paid to keep your mouth shut and not give away trade secrets um then that's what you do <coughs> i'm not proud of that fact i'm not but you know when you're when you're trying to make money you do what you got to do and i have like i said i've been a part of several i'm not just talking about one or two guys it's been over 20 is I'll, I'll tell you that right now it's been over 20 bands that I've been in, uh, or I've worked for. More, That's more to the point. I've worked for where they have had plants. And I've already talked about what I mean by that. So I'm not gonna go into great detail again, but I've been a part of bands that have had plants at their shows. And we all knew it. The songs were rehearsed. We had them ready. And we basically lied to the crowd when we would say, hey, let me see that sign. Let me grab that sign. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Can we pull this off? Of course we can pull it off. We've had it rehearsed, you know? And then we play it, and we play it perfectly, and we amaze everybody by how well we can, you know, play a song that we just happen to pull out of a bucket, you know? <laughs> well, it was planned. That's another trick, is the old bucket trick. You know, you're gonna have, you know, we have a we have a, we have have a a bucket here with, with 20 of our songs that we haven't played at all during our whole tour. Every single piece of paper says the exact same song. Every single piece of paper says this song. Reach it, but they don't know that because they're all folded up. So reach in there and grab just one piece, just grab one piece of paper, and let's have it. Wow, we haven't played that song in a long time. No, we have, we, we rehearsed it two nights ago. We, we're, we're good, I promise you. Well, what do you think guys, can we pull this off? Mm, of course we can, we rehearsed it two nights ago. You know, that's, what, that's what's going through my head. I'm like, God, I can't believe we're lying to this crowd and the crowd's buying it. You know, not to say that people are stupid, but I mean, I, I will say that sometimes people can be gullible. So, you know, when I, when I would see these sign requests from Bruce, I, of course I'm skeptical because I've seen it. I've, I haven't just seen it. I've been a part of it. I've been a part of the scam. I'm not proud of it. But like I said, I had to make money. So do what you gotta do. Um, but the reason I'm making such a big deal about this is I, I've been very skeptical in the past about Bruce Springsteen and quote unquote plants, whether it be people coming up on stage or sign requests, whatever the case may be. After seeing it, first hand in a live setting. And more importantly, the individual that had the sign actually contacted me and put all doubts to rest. They provided proof 
of this, of the of it actually happening. By providing that proof, by by contacting me and saying, listen, this is the actual deal. It's real. And here's the evidence. That took all doubt away it, it, of, of that one. And here's the thing. If that one was genuine, if that one was real, if that one was a genuine, real, honest, blind re uh, request that they had no plan of doing and they just did it, well, they did it once, what's to stop them from doing it other times? You know, may maybe they've been doing it like that the whole time. So now, after experiencing it life, I'm a lot more inclined to believe, because I want to believe it, I want to believe that Bruce is genuine. I want to believe the E Street Band is this talented, and it, it looks like it is. And after seeing that, like I said firsthand, and having the evidence proven to me, it, it I'm more I'm more inclined to believe it now. So, was this real? I believe it was. I, I believe it was. The guy clearly has been following Bruce around. Six cities, dear lord, what an investment! But. It paid off in the end, right? And guys, that's a life lesson right there. Never give up. <laughs> as long as you can afford to make that kind of an investment, never give up because it paid off for him. It could pay off for you. Um, and again, I can't say enough about the E Street Band being able to take an obscure song that they hadn't rehearsed and on the fly, and you could see it too when Bruce was walking out, you saw Everybody turned and faced each other like they I'll bet you anything they were just quickly going down We're doing this 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 for this measure this 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 for this measure this chord this chord this chord this chord for this measure And, and, then, and that's it just repeat, you know, and, and it, when you have a song when you have songs that are that simple That you can pull it off in a live setting like that and just very quickly go over the go over the chord changes in le literally 30 seconds and everybody in the band goes we got it. No problem a smart songwriting for having you know the foresight to be able to write songs that are that simple that you can pull them out on the whim like that b god bless the e street band for being so talented to be able to in 30 seconds go over everybody's part and have everybody ready in 30 seconds that's not easy man it's not easy if you're gonna be in a band like that you better be able to pull it out so i've been skeptical in the past i will freely admit i've been skeptical in the past i am jaded when it comes to the music industry i've been in for way too long but i gotta say after my experience with bruce and everybody in the comments uh and especially that one individual that actually contacted me and said this is the deal and provided evidence and proof to back it up i gotta say um i'm a believer i'm absolutely a believer so to be able to have that kind of talent to be able to pull out an obscure song and pull it out. Here's the thing. How well did they pull it off? I don't know that part. I don't know. I don't know the song. I've never heard the song before, so I don't know if they actually played it correctly or not. I, for all I know, they just jammed on something. But I mean, it sounded good, and the crowd seemed to respond well to it. So I gotta make the assumption that they put that they pulled it off and played it well. So that's not easy, and I gotta say, it's impressive. It is impressive, and that's how we're coming up to an 8.1. So, yeah, I had to bump it up 0.1 more. I, I was like, I was going to give it an 8.0, but I gave it an 8.1. I, I feel good about that score. I feel better about that score than 8.0. I know it's not that big of a difference, but it, it makes a difference to me, all right? So, yeah, 8.1. I feel good with that score, and that's where we're going to stay. So, let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got an 8.1, which is a great scale rating, four to five stars in an A minus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.